I'm Sarah, a tutor at Accountancy Learning, and in this video I'll take you through the Management Accounting Techniques AAT Sample Paper 1, Task 6. So this is the second Excel task in the Management Accounts exam, and it's on budgets and deviations. So on the screen here you can see the full question, and then I can bring up the spreadsheet that we're going to be working on. So let's have a look at the question. How Parts Limited manufactures a variety of car accessories? The budgeted and actual results for the manufacturer and sale of 10,000 units of product FO25 have been entered into the budget spreadsheet template. So we can see that here. So part A then. So for the first section, we need to format cells B3, C3 and D3 to bold and centre aligned. So we're going to be looking at these three here, change it to bold and then centre aligned. Part two is format cells B3 to E20. So we are looking at these cells here to show thousand separator and to no decimal places. So make sure you read the whole instruction so that we don't forget a particular part of it. So thousand separator and no decimal places. So we can open up our format box, click on the use 1000 separator and remove the decimal places. Part three, is calculate the operated profit and variance in cells B20 to E20 using an appropriate formula. So B20 to E20, so we're working in these cells here. So our operating profit is our income less our costs. So we'll do our income minus our costs to give us our operating profit. And then we can copy that over to the flex budget in C and the actual in D. Now for the variance, we're going to need to add our two variances together. So we're going to add our income variance to our total cost variance to give us our net variance between the two. We've got part four. Correct the formula in cell C8, so we're going to be looking at this formula here, and use formulas in cells C13 to C16 to flex the budget. A formula then in the C8 cell is saying that the flex budget for sales is B8 divided by B3 and divided by C3. So when we flex a budget, we do need to do the sales value divided by the number of units to get our per unit value, but then we need to multiply it by the units for our flex budget. So we're going to change the last division to multiplication to correct the error. We then need to put the formula in to flex the budget in cells C13 to C16. So we've got direct materials, so that's going to change with the level of output. So we're going to do our total divided by our original units multiplied by our new units. Same for direct labour, that's going to change as well. So our total divided by original times new. The variable production overhead, so they're variable, so they're going to move as well. So the same process for that one. And then fixed production overhead. So fixed means it's not going to change. It doesn't matter how many units are created. This fixed production overhead is going to stay the same. So we can simply link it to that cell. Then part five is to use formulas to calculate the variances compared to the flex budget in cells E8 and then E13 to E16. So we're now looking at these ones. So our income, our variance formula for income is our actual 
minus our budget. But for costs, we're going to do it the opposite way round. So we're going to say our budget, what was we expecting to pay, minus what we actually did pay to give us our variance. And then that's going to be the same for all the costs there. Part A now completed. So part B then, variances are classed as significant if they are adverse or they exceed 2% of the flexed budget. In cells F8 and F13 to F16, calculate each variance as a percentage of the flexed budget to two decimal places using an appropriate formula. So for this then, we are going to divide, take our variance, and we're going to divide it by our flex budget. And then we need to make sure it's showing as a percentage. And then we can use the two buttons up here to increase and de decrease our decimals to two decimal places. And we can use that same formula for F13 to F16. Part two, in a different colour, highlight all variances which need investigating. So let's remind ourselves, we need to investigate if they are adverse or they exceed 2% of the flex budget. So our adverse ones are here. So we can highlight them once. And then 2% of the flex budget, so it's only this one here for our fixed production overheads, that one needs to be highlighted as well. And then finally, protect the worksheet, but do not enter a password when setting up the protection. So to protect the worksheet, we're going to click on the review tab at the top, protect sheet, And then OK. And that is your task six completed.